in the Indian solar landscape, there are very few people who made solar modules as well as solar cells. So MV is one of the few Indian companies which is, which is making both the products. So right now we are joined by Mr. Manjunath, who is the MD of MV, and we will try to interact with Mr. Manjunath ji and we'll try to understand the market of solar cell in India. So, so after the reimposition of ALMM, we talked to a lot of solar module makers at REI and they said a lot of them are on the expansion spree. So what is your current capacity and what is your expansion plan now? Where you want to take up your capacity up to? Presently we have 5 gigawatt of module capacity and 2.5 gigawatt of cell. Mm -hmm. By 2030 we wanted to be reach 20 gigawatt of module and 20 gigawatt of cell. Mm -hmm. Also 5 gigawatt of uh, wafer. So, sir, we have seen that there are very few people in India, very few companies who are into solar cell manufacturing. So, do you think that CAPEX is only issue, only hurdle or there are any issues like in procurement of uh, solar cell machines from China or from other parts of the country? So, the major challenge is yes, CAPEX is the highest and also the this have a different uh, way of manufacturing compared to the model. So, even uh, there is a lack of uh, uh, manpower availability also there because the growth is so much and also this which needs the ancillary units, ancillary systems, not ancillary, I can say a lot of utility activities also. It is not like normal model production. So that is the reason it takes any person more time and also the technology changes also coming fast. Even when we, we wanted to start the cell line, we planned for the P-type, then suddenly the technology changed to the N-type. We have also moved to the N-type technology. Because of that, it is getting a little slow. So in the last two years, the prices of Chinese solar cells as well as solar modules came down drastically. So how it benefited the solar makers and solar model makers in India? And do you think the trend will continue, the low prices will continue in the coming days? How you see the future in the next six months or one year for the Indian industry? No, it will not further go down because already many players in the China also, they are burning their numbers. So it may stable or it may go upside. Then already we see the wafers and other prices are going in the upward trend. So recently, as you talked about wafer prices, recently we saw that Longi and other companies in China have increased their wafer prices. So do you think this will impact anyhow the solar cell cost or solar module cost in India? Presently, it is not too much. It is can be tolerable. If it goes further high, then it's going to be little challenges to the people who already planned their projects, already who are... Uh, made their IRR's calculation on the present casting, it's going to be challenge. So uh, in the REI on the second day, up to now, we have talked to more than 20 solar model manufacturers and a lot of them have two things. Either we will invest in IPO or we will open new centers, manufacturing center in uh, United States. Do you also have any plan to start manufacturing in the United States? Yeah, we've already done a lot of groundwork. We are going to start in 2026. Uh, any time? 2025. 2025 we will start. So from the government policy side, we have the reimposition of ALMM, we had PLI, we have anti-dumping things. So do you think still there is any gap, any more thing that the government can do for your sector? No, this is what they have done really great and they have to be maintain the same thing, not give the sudden any other shocks which they given in between. So this stability of uh, yeah. policy. The policy is mm. very important mm. and also they want, they are announcing the cell also. LLM that need to be done immediately. So what do you think the impact could be after the inclusion of uh, uh, solar cells into the LLM? What impact it will have on the industry? No, this is this is already done, right? This is, you remember about uh, four years back when they announced the LLM. This is cell and module is there. The first they introduced the cell, uh, the module, and the, then later on the cell has to be done. The even dates they have mentioned. Now the same thing they are implementing. It is not the new thing to the industry or to the world. So in the recent few years, uh, in this year itself, we saw that uh, you got very good scorecard in uh, endurance testing and other things that, that was done globally. MBA, I think MV was the number one. Yeah, so yeah. what is the main reason that has made it uh, its panel strong enough and uh, globally recognized? This is called PVL uh, QA. It's a US laboratory. They independently take up the models from the factory uh, randomly and they test the all rigorous tests. So in that, uh, MV has been passed in all seven tests. Mm. So we are proud to say that uh, out of four in the world, mm. oh, only one company in India, we are the that test which is there. How it so became that is, yeah. that, That's mainly because of the material and the process and the technology what we use. Mm. 
so that uh, and the experience of 18 years in the solar pv module business that give us the result so sir uh, most of the solar module makers are situated in gujarat mostly in surat you are in hyderabad any specific reason i am not in hyderabad we are in bangalore karnataka yes. Uh, okay, so the, we have started from 30 to south. So we are from 32 years. We have started our solar water heater business also in the Bangalore. Mm -hmm. So we have continued from our journey in the same place. Mm -hmm. We wanted to be grow in the not uh, not only one place, right? So this is also. So Indian solar industry has seen a lot of transition. First there was polycrystalline, then there was monopark. There is Topcon and there is also talks about HGT. So what is your plan? Have you phased our production of uh, uh, polycrystalline? Any plans for HGT? See, as of now, yeah, we are there earlier, poly, polycrystalline, now the monofacial, then now the Topcon. HGT also we are producing the models, but HGT cells and all, we, it may take some more time. Presently, we want to concentrate more on the Topcon and the Topco. So after the launch of PM Surika, there is a mandate of DCR, so that is a major issue now. So are you in planning to increase the production of DCR cells? That is how we have done 2.5 gigawatt and anyhow I told you already by 2030 we are going to be 20 gigawatt of cell line. So you're, where you want to take the company in the la last question, what, where you want to take the company in the next five years? What is your dream or your ultimate dream to take this company to? Couple of billion company. And multinational company? That is always, we are already. We are going to be in a little bigger way. In the stock market also we can expect you to jump soon. So let's see. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.